Welcome to Clodagh's Fall Suppers. Smoked haddock chowder with corn is the essence of Ireland in autumn or fall. Smoky haddock flavour with potatoes, leeks, white wine, and then fresh corn that's in season at the moment is so beautiful, so warming, and like a big hug. I'm excited to share this with you and give you a big food hug. So here are all the ingredients you need. Smoked haddock, white wine, fish stock, milk, leek, celery, some good quality Irish butter, fresh dill, potatoes, and corn on the cob. So I start off by dicing my potatoes, followed by my onions, garlic, celery, and leeks. So I'm gonna get my casserole dish, or heavy bottom saucepan. And then I'm gonna put in a nice big chunk of Irish Kerrygold butter. It's my favorite butter. It's the butter I grew up on. It's made with cows that are grass-fed, reared outdoor, um, happy cows, beautiful butter, happy cook. And then next, slice up the celery and then slice up the leeks quite thinly. So this soup isn't gonna get blended. So it's going to be a lovely, chunky, hearty chowder. And crush down the garlic. And then the last veg to prep for the base is the onion. So I'm dicing the onion into very small pieces. That way they'll sweat down really easily. All the ingredients over to the melted butter. So the celery, garlic, leeks, potatoes, onion. This is the base of my soup. And I'm gonna season it up with some lovely sea flakes. Also sea pepper, which is seaweed. I toss it all in that beautiful melted Kerrygold Irish salted butter. And you know I love my tips. And here's another one for you. Every time I use a stick of butter, I never tread the wrappers because they are brilliant for sweating the bases of your soup. It does two things. It intensifies the heat so it'll cook faster, but also it creates a vacuum when it's sweating and so it's less likely to burn. So I leave that for about 10 minutes to sweat, but I'm going to come back and check it in five minutes. So while the vegetables are sweating, I'm going to get my corn prepped. And what I do, is I just cut all the corn off the cob like this, and this is as fresh as you can get it. You can just imagine the flavor, right, of the corn from this. I'm gonna chop my smoked haddock up into chunks, and actually, this is interesting. So this looks quite pale, and this is the way it's smoked haddock should be. Naturally smoked, I like an oak smoke on mine, but whatever is kind of like nice and local to you, get it. Um, and undyed, that's the big thing. You do not want it looking bright yellow in color or orange in color, in fact. That's like an unnatural dye. So just chuck it up into bite-sized chunks. You could put a few fresh mussels in with this as well. So I'm just gonna check on my vegetables. Mmm, smells lovely. And I've said this tip before in my other videos, you know, when I'm making soup. Um, is that if it starts catching at the bottom and you're worried it's going to burn, what you do, you don't have to change the pot, just put the cover back on, turn the heat off, and what will happen is um, the, the intensity of the heat will create steam and then that will lift all the little bits off. You have to leave it completely covered for five minutes. Add in some lovely white wine. What you want to do is let the alcohol evaporate and all the flavors of the wine can stay into the vegetables. So next I'm adding in the milk, followed by the fish stock. And so you should really try to make one of my clover breads to go with it. It's the version of the traditional soda bread. Um, so you should check out my video for my seeded cheddar bread. It's so good and we'd be beautiful with this. So you wanna chop up the dill nice and finely. I even chop all the stalks as well because they've got so much flavour. But when you come to the stalk part, just really make sure they're nice and fine. Always think of the bite in the end of the day. 
So I'm going to stir in my lovely smoked haddock. If you were going to add fresh mussels, I'd put them in at this stage as well. I'm going to put in loads of that beautiful corn that we shaved off the husk. And then we just let that simmer away for five minutes. The final ingredients I'm putting in is fresh dill and beautiful cream. Just going to add such gorgeous texture to it. This big bowl of deliciousness. It is my Irish hub to you. So the full recipe for my smoked haddock chowder with fresh corn is down below and there's a link there too. Um, and you can also subscribe if you haven't already. Look how gorgeous and warming and oh, full of smoky flavors and that beautiful corn. Fresh dill on top and that's it. I'm off to have my gorgeous Irish supper. Sloan.